Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and I'm, I am about to take you through my workout of the day. Today's workout is low impact for your joints but very effective. So we're going to do lots of challenging moves, primarily focused on the lower body, although we will involve some core there. So all you need um, is a mat and a wall, something you could put your feet up on. I'm going to use a resistance band for a couple of the exercises. That's optional. It will um, add a little bit of intensity to some of the movements, so it's a good way to modify if you want to make your workout a little bit more intense. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. You can still do all of the moves without it. So let's get started. For today's workout, we're going to start with the tabletop calf raise. So we're going to come into our tabletop position, hands plant on the mat. Point your fingertips toward your toes. If you're unable to do that because of shoulder flexibility, you can change it a little bit. Um, either have your hands face backwards or to the sides. But if you're able to, definitely point your fingers toward your toes and you're gonna push through the heels, lift the hips until there's a straight line from your knees to your hips to your shoulders. We're gonna extend one leg, keeping that line, and then we're gonna add the calf raise. So one, make sure those hips are still in the same spot. Two, three, four, five, six, check the hips, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, almost done, nineteen, twenty. Same thing on the other side. Core tight, hips lift. Find that tabletop position, uh, and then extend your other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Press those hips up. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Okay, next we have raised leg adduction. Uh, resistance band is optional for this one. If you're using it, put it around your calves. We're going to lay on our side, support your head with one hand, other arm can be in front of you. Top leg is going to lift, and it's going to stay in that lifted position the whole time, core tight. Bottom leg is going to raise to meet it, and then stretch back down. Raise and stretch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going for 20. 10. Keep that top leg up there. 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just going to flip around or you can just turn over on your mat. Make sure that band is around your calves if you're using it. Core stays strong the whole time. Breathe, lift that top leg, pull the core in, and bring it up. Two. So bottom leg is coming up to meet the top leg. Top leg stays still. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, almost there, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, last two, 19, 20. Okay, next we have leg series. So we are going to take off the band, lay down on the mat. You could have your hands um, beside your body or out to the sides, whatever is more comfortable for you. Core is going to stay strong. We're going to lift the hips again like we did in that first move, but our shoulders stay on the floor. 
and we're going to extend one leg. So this move has three parts. First, we have the leg raise. So one, two, we're going to do ten of each. Three, four, five, keep those hips high. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to hold it up there and drop our hips. Press the foot toward the ceiling. One, two, three. Press through the standing heel. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last part is down, up, and drop. So we're combining the two movements. That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, same thing on the other side. Shake out that leg if you need to. Core stays tight. Arms extend. Hips lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it up there, hip drop. One, press to the ceiling. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Combine it. That's one. Down, up, drop. That's two. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Okay, next we have inner thigh squeeze. So we're going to lay on our side. We'll start laying on the right side. And again, like we did in the raised leg adduction, similar um, position to start. And supporting your head, front or top hand in front of you, core tight. Legs are staggered this time, and we're going to take the bottom leg and squeeze it toward the ceiling. So one, two, hold it up there for a minute if you want to, three, and you can add the band for this one, four, five, cross those lower calves, six, seven, eight, Nine, squeeze the inner thighs together. 10, 10 more, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Same thing on the other side. So roll over or Switch directions on your mat. Stagger those feet. Bottom leg lifts and squeezes the thigh toward the ceiling. So squeeze both thighs together as you lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway done, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We're going to the wall for the next exercise. So I'm going to use my band again. Again, that's optional. 
but I'm going to put it around my legs and we're going to do wall toe touch abduction. You could call it an adduction too because we're going in both directions with the legs. So scoot your butt as close to the wall as you can and then stretch your legs up toward the wall. So this first part is going to depend on your own flexibility. If this is enough for you and you just want to do a small sit up from here. So it's just a very small movement like the top rib or the bottom rib is going over your stomach muscles, lifting the shoulders off of the mat. If you can, you're going to add um, a stretch of the leg and reach toward the toe. So that's half of it. And then we're going to keep this leg still, stretch this leg out to the side, control, bring it in. Repeat, that was one. That's three, four, five, six, seven, low back stays on the floor the whole time, eight, nine, Ten, halfway done with this one, and then on to the other leg. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, last one, 20. So we are going to do the same thing to the other direction. So right leg or whichever leg you didn't just use is going to stay really still. And we are going to reach for that toe, small sit up and out. That's one. I'm going to raise this band a little bit because I don't want it around my knees. Two. So with the resistance bands, you don't want to have it on your joints and so not on your ankle or on your or knee. Five. Six. Seven. Keep that low back on the floor even as you stretch. Eight. Nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, last two, 19, 20. So we're going to stay on the wall for the next one. We have a wall bridge step out. So you can either leave the band around your calves or move it down to your thighs. I'm going to move it down from up to my thighs. We're going to press the heels into the wall with slightly bent knees and we're going to do a glute bridge. So we're going to lift arms stay flat and we are going to drop our hips down, press them up and out and then we're going to step out and in. That's one, two, three, four, five, drop those hips toward the ground, press them up, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to move the band down to my calves because it keeps rolling down my thighs. There we go. Eleven. Feel more resistance that way. Twelve. Thirteen. 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one on this side, 20. We can go right into the other side, so shake it out if you need to, and then drop it down. Step the other direction. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, last two, 19, 20. Whew. Okay, guys, we get to sit upright for just a second, and then we're going to go into prone dancer stretch. So we're going to lay on our bellies for this one. Um, and again, depending on your hip flexor and quad flexibility, um, you might not be able to put the lift into this one, but just doing the stretch is going to help you. So you can either rest your arms like this or stretch your left arm out in front of you, we're gonna start with the right side. So if stretching your knee, or <laughs> bending your knee and stretching your heel toward your butt is intense for you, that's all you wanna do is just stay here. If that feels okay, and you wanna try adding the lift, you can do that. So we will add a lift. So using that glute to lift and lifting our upper back, hip flexor, hip bone stays on the floor, Knee lifts and down. This is a prone dancer stretch. Three, four. You could also choose to do it with your back staying down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, lift that foot straight toward the ceiling, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Same thing on the other side. This is the last exercise. Oh, of course, you can repeat it. Repeat the whole workout if you want to. The breakdown will be on my site. Here we go. Same thing on the other side. And if you're more flexible on one side than the other, that's normal, so don't worry about it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Ah, okay, so hopefully you guys are feeling good. Um, there will be a bonus, kind of a tricky challenge, a handstand core challenge. So it's gonna be handstand exercises that you could do to work your core um, and work on balance at the same time. Everything will be on my website, benderfitness.com along with 
around 700 other free home workouts, recipes, and tips for healthy living. So I hope to see you guys there. Have a great night.